It's actually, it's 46 months with three years of post-prison supervision, but she is eligible for early release, earn time, and programs, which means that she's likely to serve a sentence in the range of 12 to 18 months. 35-year-old Lita Schroeder pled guilty to criminally negligent homicide and four counts of failing to perform the duties of a driver. She admitted to running a red light and then fleeing the scene of a crash that happened at the intersection of Highway 99 and 62 in Medford. Prior to the crash, Ms. Schroeder admitted to uh, grinding up opiate pills, mixing them with water, and injecting them into herself. After I hired a forensic expert, Ken Manili, who used to run the Oregon State Police Crime Lab, um, he looked into the forensic evidence, the urine sample, the other things that were part of this case, and said that basically that, that forensic evidence was worthless. Her charges were different this time in court. The state sort of gave their rendition today. My feeling is that the DUI was dropped because there was not evidence, su sufficient evidence of DUI. Schroeder faced steeper manslaughter and DUI charges. Prosecutors believe she may have been high on drugs before the crash, but they couldn't prove it and she wasn't apprehended until 16 hours after the accident. You heard him say today that it's, it's unclear what happened in the hours before the accident, and I think what he was saying there is we can't prove what happened in the hours before the accident, and so they dropped the DUII allegation and also dropped the manslaughter allegation, which usually goes along with a DUII. In that crash, one man died. Another suffered serious injuries, including brain damage. Criminally negligent homicide could be just running a red light, um, because that would be negligence and it's a lesser charge. And so essentially what she pled to today was, in fact, running a red light and that accident causing a death and then leaving the scene after the accident. According to her attorney, Schroeder won't be allowed to drive for at least 10 years and she's expected to pay more than $300,000 in restitution, an amount that has been challenged by her defense attorney.